On behalf of the Prime Minister, in particular, the actions we have taken to fulfil our coalition agreement commitments as a government of progress and delivery, and to undo the damage caused over the last three years. Uh, in this government's first, uh, very first week, we reserved a decision against international health regulation. We have also stopped all work on the separatist agenda called Hey Poor Poor, kept secret by the last government, repealed the Natural Build Environment Act and Spatial Planning Act, abolished the failing Maori Health Authority to ensure we focus on the delivering better health care for all of those uh, who need it most, including Maori and non-Maori, based on need, not some woke concept. Uh, in addition, we have focused on the three R's, reading, writing and arithmetic, with one hour on each day subject Oh, did you hear what she said? That's two hours. See what the problem is? She doesn't even get the great okay. theme all around Western society where they spoke English. It was three hours, but genius over here knows better. Supplementary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> what other coalition agreement commitments are still to come? Well, already come and coming, but we've increased the minimum wage. Repealed the. Re, well, we were the ones that put it up in the first place, not Labour. We all know that. They, they forgot all about it. We had to push it there in the first place. It's all there, it's all a fact, and Grant Robinson knows it. So now we're on to the second matter. It could be all day. Repealed the hopeless clean car discount. Repealed fair pay agreements and expanded 90 day trials to apply to all business so that more workers can get a job. And we've also gone on to ensure, and this comes 100 day plan, we have excited about these following commitments, and that is fast-tracking the consent bill which will seriously supercharge development in this country. And most excitingly, 60 square metre homes can get, with an, engineer, with an engineer's report, permission to build. This is the kind of stuff that Peter Fraser and the Great Labour Party, the Great Labour Party they understood workers would understand, but they have utterly forgotten. Supplementary, Madam Speaker. Tanya Ankovic. Thank you, Madam Speaker. What update can he provide on the coalition's commitment to a COVID inquiry? Uh, speaker, we're at the stage where we are examining a wider set of terms of reference for the World Commission on Inquiry into COVID-19. What we know is that the existing terms of reference are currently inadequate and that this government is seeking public submissions to expand those terms on the basis that we need at the end of this inquiry to have public confidence in the process and in the outcomes. And so my message to submitters is to visit the website and make a submission. And they have until 24th of March before submissions close. And for those who are protesting over there, how on earth do they think they'd ever get a proper inquiry if they didn't have proper terms of reference? An inquiry designed to cover your derriere is not an inquiry. <laughs>